Now for a Fox 5 exclusive. A New Jersey man who had two murder convictions for the same case overturned hopes to soon be released from jail. This story is very unusual because two separate judges have thrown out his murder convictions and both judges ordered new trials for him. As Fox News Angelique Proctor tells us now, from the Fulton County Jail, the case started with a deadly shooting at a Union City station uh, gas station, right? Good afternoon to you both. That's right, Christine. Alan Dennis actually granted us a jailhouse interview. He says he was visiting family back in 2013 when he came across two brothers at a gas station. He said he had words with one of the brothers and that brother pulled out a gun. That's when he said he pulled out his weapon and fired in self-defense. Like 2013, I was involved in a, a justified shooting. My prayers go out to the deceased family. So did you believe that your life is being threatened? Yes, ma'am. Alan Dennis says his life changed forever here at this Union City gas station back in 2013. He says he was with his family when he and Michael Henderson had words about Dennis's loud music. It was a stare and it was a pointing. We both exchanged words to each other and then situation occurred after that. You saw a gun? That is correct. And that's why you pulled out your gun? That's correct. Dennis was arrested and charged with murder, although he claimed self-defense. He says during both of his trials in 2016 and 2019, both of his attorneys were ill-prepared. He didn't have enough time, according to him. He wasn't, he just wasn't prepared. He did nothing for the case, didn't look any witnesses up, did Dig nothing at all. In an almost unprecedented situation, two different judges agreed with Dennis and overturned his murder convictions. His new attorney will subpoena two Union City police officers who they say can back up his self-defense claims. The second trial, they didn't subpoena the officer who in his affidavit indicated that the Henderson was actually committing aggravated assault. So now there's a forcible felony involved. How did the officer know that? He put it in the affidavit because he said he received it from witnesses. He received the information from witnesses that he found weapons in his car, in the, in the deceased car. Now, Dennis will ask a Fulton County judge on May 1st for bond. He expects to get a favorable outcome. Of course, we will continue to follow this. Reporting live from the Fulton County Jail, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Wow, yeah, we'll definitely look to see where this case goes. Angelique, thanks so much.